So Claude is very expensive but effective, and that's as good, but not everyone wants to pay 17 USD per month to use Cloud Code and then hit limits. Or even worse, pay 20 bucks to Cursor and get frustrated because you can't even build something more complex without getting a message to keep upgrading to the next plan. Why this happen? Well, simply because many of us are working on something which is not a final product or want to vibe code bigger stuff with more freedom, and some of us do not make any money from it yet. So in today's video for this big problem, I offer you a solution. As you may have heard, Alibaba has been launching AI models that are quite good. They launched the QN3 models with their higher and lower parameter variants, their thinking variant, and their revolutionary QN3 coder, which apparently is as good as Sonnet 4, which hearing that from open source models is nice. They recently launched their CLI with QN3 coder with and you can use it to work on larger projects without limitations. It was created based on Google Gemini's CLI, changing some things and improving and then maintaining others. The tool is built on the foundation of Google's Gemini CLI, but here's where it gets interesting. The QN team has created specialized parser adaptations that are specifically optimized for QN coder models. This means better code comprehension, more accurate suggestions and parsing capabilities that truly understand the nuances of different programming languages and frameworks. If we go to the repository, we will find a lot of interesting information, starting with Quen OAuth, where we will have 2000 requests per day with no token limits, a limit of 60 requests per minute, which is also very good. And it also tells us that once installed, we only have to run Quen and authenticate ourselves by logging into an account, which is very quick and easy. Installation is also very simple. It requires Node.js version 20 or higher to be installed. And to install the CLI, simply use the npm command, which is my favorite, in our CMD, and it will be installed globally. To verify this, simply use QN version, and this will confirm that it is installed. So we'll go to the console and paste our command, wait patiently for it to install, which is very quick, and check our version. Once installed, it is very easy to open. Simply type QN from any folder and the console will open. Keep in mind that the first thing it asks you is how you want to authenticate. You must choose the first option and it will redirect you to the browser where you must log in with your Google account to obtain the 2000 requests, which is very generous. If you know how to use Cloud Code or Gemini, this is very simple. Remember that it is based on Gemini, so many things remain the same. In this video, we are going to try it out. The documentation mentions it and also tells us that it is specifically optimized for Quen3 coder models. Improve your development workflow with advanced code understanding, automated tasks, and intelligent assistance. Then, of course, you can also incorporate MCP into your workflow. Just type MCP list to list all your current MCPs and hit enter. I do not have any configured yet because I don't really use them that much, but the process is quite similar to anything else, such as cursor, where you will have a JSON file that you can open in any IDE, which is great. One of the MCPs I highly recommend is Context7, mainly because it solves one of the most frustrating problems when working with Claude, the loss of context between conversations. Basically, it allows you to create persistent memories numbers that remain active even when you start a new session. For example, if you're working on a web development project, Context7 can remember the technologies you prefer to use, the coding style you use, or even specific problems you've encountered before. The setup is fairly straightforward, and once you have it up and running, the difference is noticeable. You no longer have to explain the entire context every time you resume a conversation on the same topic. Well, as you can see here, you can simply click on MCP servers and it will take you to the GitHub repository. Once there, you can simply scroll down to the section that says installations, which will show you a lot of options. For example, we could see the cursor that shows us the corresponding code but we can also click to make it more instantaneous and faster. How to install them? Well, you already have a folder called .quen, which contains a file called settings.json. If you don't have both, you can simply create them, no problem. Now, it already comes with its own CLI authentication. What you have to do is put the MCP inside. So below you simply put MCP in quotation marks, inside you put the MCP you want, and close it accordingly with the curly brackets. Now we restart the CLI and once we are inside, we type Quen to open it. 
we simply type the slash MCP list, and there we verify that we already have the MCP properly installed, we can add a lot more, of course. And as you can see, there we have it. Now that we have our MCP to view the appropriate documentation, we can test it. First, let's talk a little about the Quen3 Coder Plus model, which is a pretty good model, according to the community. They say that it doesn't come close to the performance of Sonnet 4, as the benchmarks indicate. Obviously, benchmarks always show us higher scores, and in reality, when using the model in our personal projects, the performance may not be what we expect. So, they recently posted a tweet on August 8th announcing that we will be able to use 2,000 requests every day using their command line, where they also provided a link to the repository, so you may want to check that as well. It comes in two versions, one with 480 billion parameters, 35 billion of which are active, with a context window of 26K, and another slightly smaller version with 30 billion parameters called Flash. How can we enhance this CLI? I recently discovered an MCP that would be good to try in this video. It's called Daisy UI, which is basically a plugin for Tailwind CSS that installs via NPM and offers us high-level component classes. What it does is make it easier for us to write code, which is appreciated, it also has an MCP that we can incorporate into our Quen CLI, which is quite useful. We can use Context7 to access the Daisy UI documentation and work with it, but we can also use the MCP, which I will show you how to install. We can go to our settings.json file, and inside the MCP, I will leave the documentation in the comments, but it is not difficult. After the key, place a comma to add another MCP, then close it with a key, and at the end, you will have two more keys that close the ones above. It is not very difficult to understand, but this way you can add as many as you want. So if you go to CLI now and you did it right, it should show you the two MCPs that we learned to install in this video. It took a few minutes to complete the response. As we can see, it uses the tools appropriately, accessing the documentation I requested and using the MCP. It then begins by creating the HTML and the rest of the files, including dependencies, a styles.css file, a tailwind.config.js file that includes Tailwind CSS and Daisy UI, and finally initializes the server in a shell on port 3000. Then we open it and see the result, and here we have it. I like the appearance and the animations, but there is one significant problem. I can't see the X's and O's very well, but everything else, it's okay. I also ask him to create a service as a product software landing page, keeping the instructions, but it didn't perform well. The colors don't match, and the footer isn't fully developed. Let's consider that this was from a first prompt. The good thing is that it's something you can develop with more prompts. And I see a lot of potential with those 2000 requests for vibe coding some project, which is good. Well, I also asked him to make me a cute music player with a nice design, which is a bit useless, I know, but he did a relatively good job. The songs don't change and the design is decent, but I'll do a few more quick tests. Now, I asked him to design Spotify for me, which I think is interesting because it's quite similar. The play button is a little strange, but it has good animations. There's nothing functional because it doesn't have a backend, but it's pretty decent. So if you are not satisfied with this CLI and prefer the one from Cloud Code, but still want to use the QN3 coder model with the same 2000 requests, I present to you Cloud Router, a tool that will allow us to have the same model with the same or more functions, but for free. In this repository, you can find all the necessary instructions. I will show you how to install it and how you can incorporate this model. First, we go down, where it tells us that it is important to have Cloud Code installed globally. If you already have it, we move on to the second step, which is to install Cloud Code Router. We open our terminal and install it globally with NPM. So I will open my terminal and I think I already have it installed. Once installed, it tells us that we must configure our config.json, but they recently launched a UI mode that is in beta, which will save us a lot of time when configuring it. So let's use it. It tells us that we can start by typing ccrui. So we'll do that in our terminal. If we enter that command, it will automatically open in our browser. Now, you must click on Add a Provider and then click on Open Router. You can go to the Open Router page and obtain an API key there. Once you get your API, paste it where it goes, then paste the model name as well, and that's it. 
Now simply go to the terminal and type CCR code. If everything went well, this will start Cloud Code with the QN model, which is ready to use with all the features of Cloud Code. So if you like this video, leave a like and subscribe and see you in the next one.